All right, Shalom, giving all praises to Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rakar Kodash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that rule impeccably well, and Shalom to the Archim that's pushing his truth and sincerity across the four winds. Right, I just want to get into a quick um, reply video, which is going to be a reply um, to, you know, Apostle Elder Tahar. Um, it's video that he released earlier on in the week by the name of, um, I believe it was, My People Are Destroyed for Lack of Knowledge, if I'm not mistaken. All right, and it was basically in reply to this video you see here on the screen um, with this lady by the name of um, Nia, Nia Hope, all right, which is, um, you know, clearly, you know, an Israelite, all right. However, I'm not going to play the video, but she had taken um, an African ancestry DNA test and it basically came back with the results that she was European, all right. And then she got, you know, all bugged out, you know, <laughs> she got all bugged out, you know, finding out that information that, you know, she had European DNA, all right. But, you know, that's why, you know, opposed to her, you know, rightfully coined the video, you know, my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge, all right? Because, you know, if she knew, you know, the scriptures, all right, you would know that you can't go by Esau's DNA test to determine whether you are indeed an Israelite or not, all right? But she wasn't even doing it to find out whether she was an Israelite. She wanted to find out what so-called tribe she was from in the land of Ham, right, in, in Africa, because, you know, our people, you know, and when I say our people, I'm talking about you Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans. You're always trying to find out, you know, where you come from in the land of um, Ham, right? But really, what you got to understand is that, you know, the Lord put a difference, as it tells us in, the, I believe it's the book of Exodus, the Lord put a difference between Israel and the Egyptians, man. So we are not the same people, even though we may look the same, right, as the so-called, as, as the Hamites, all right? We are not actually Hamites. We are not Africans, man, right, as the world calls them. We are Israelites. We're a different people, man. Just because we have melanin, it don't mean that we are the same people. You, what you got to understand is that, you know, um, Sri Lankans, they have a, a, a real dark hue, all right? But that don't make them the chosen people, all right? Melanin is not what determines whether you are, you know, the Lord's chosen people. It's all by you being an Israelite or you being a heathen, all right? What you have is an, an abundance of our people that are actually desiring to be heathens, right? Because they don't know their true, you know, biblical nationality, all right? You can't call yourself black and think that's your nationality. Black is just a, um, 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 I can't even call it a color. Black is basically, you know, just a shade, all right? It's not even a color, it's a shade, and it's a dark, you know, twisted um, um, label that's been coined on us by the so-called white man who is known as Esau Edom, according to the Holy Bible. Now, I just want to get into a few scriptures. This is, um, uh, I'll go to Numbers first. Yeah, I'll go to Numbers first. This is Numbers, Numbers chapter 1 and 18. And it says, And they assembled all the congregation together on the first day of the second month, and they declared their pedigrees after their families by the house of their fathers. All right, so that's how you determine your nationality. It's by where your father is from, all right? That's how you determine your nationality, man. So if your father, you know, was a, a Benjamite, you also would be a Benjamite. If your father was a Judite, you also would be a Judite, all right? That's how, you know, things work concerning the Holy Scriptures and concerning what nation and nationality you call yourself by, all right? But in, 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 in our time, we don't go by that, right? Because Esau has those records, man. Right? We don't have those records. So what do we have to do? We have to go to um, Romans 8 and uh, verse 16. All right? Let's get that, man. Because the only way you're going to determine whether you're an Israelite is by faith. Right? First and foremost is by faith. But what we can also do is go to the scriptures and we can read Romans 8 and 16. And what does it tell us? It tells us that the spirit itself bears witness with our spirit that we are the children of God, man. So what does that mean? It goes, it's the spirit that bears witness with our spirit that we're the children of God. It's, the spirit is these scriptures, man. The spirit is the Holy Bible, right? Now, how does it bear witness with our spirit, man? Because of the prophecies that are written inside of these scriptures, man. 
All right, so we know about the transatlantic slave trade, man. We know about the things and the signs and the banners that will be placed upon the children of Israel. And we experience those things. They relate to us. So that's how we relate to being the children of Israel, through the signs that Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai is putting in, put into this book, man. It doesn't apply unto them so-called Jews that you have in the land of Israel today. So that's how we know that they're not the true Israelites that the Bible speaks of because the, 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 the prophecies... That, the, that, that are written in the scriptures do not apply to them as a people, man. They apply to you Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans. When the scriptures say, you know, um, Gad was going to be overcome by a troop and that troop was Esau, the so-called white man, that is truth, all right? So that's how we know they're the tribe of Gad, among many other signs and wonders in the scriptures, man, all right? So that's how we know. We know because the spirit bears witness with our spirit. And the scriptures also say, that my sheep hear my voice, I know them, and they follow me. So you're only going to follow, you know, the true doctrine of Yahweh Hashim Yahushai and follow his words if indeed you are an Israelite. Because it's not, it was not given unto a heathen, all right, to believe in these scriptures wholeheartedly, man. All right, they wasn't, they wasn't given the gift of faith. So if you have the gift of faith, right, and you believe in the scriptures the right way, then that's another way of telling that you're an Israelite, man. That's how we know that, you know, there's certain brothers that may not look like, you know, your average Negro, Hispanic or Native American. They might have, you know, the curse of leprosy, but we know they're Israelites because they believe in this word and they push this word with zeal. All right. That's how we differentiate, you know, you know, who is, who is and who isn't, man. It's, it, everything is spiritual, man. All right. Now, this is, um, let's go to um, Isaiah 1. All right. Because this is why a lot of our people, you know, have, have lost has have, have lost themselves, man. Because they don't know who they are. This is Isaiah chapter 1 and verse 3. It says, The ox knoweth his owner and the ass his master's crib. But Israel doth not know, my people doth not consider. Right? Our people are not even considering whether they're, whether they're Israelites or not, man. This woman should be trying to find out whether she's an Israelite or not, man. All right? Not, not sending, you know, her DNA to Esau you know, the father of lies, so he can tell you that you're European, all right, when you're clearly, you know, a nigger woman, <laughs> as we call them, you know, as you're clearly, you know, a, a so-called black woman, all right, likely from, you know, the, one of the Judah, Benjamin, or Levi, you know, most likely, not certain, but most likely, all right, all right, because our people are destroyed, as, 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 you know, Apostle to Harp, well, Hosea 4 and 6, our people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge, man, which I, I, we might as well get that, you know, real quick, you know, because that's why this truth is so important, man. All right. And that's why you got to be grateful that you have this truth and that you have this gospel, because there's a lot of our people out there that are completely lost. All right. Now, this is Hosea chapter four and verse six. It says, my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge, because thou hast rejected knowledge. I also reject thee, that thou shalt be no priest to me, seeing thou hast forgotten the law of my power. I will also forget thy children, man. All right, so that's why our people are destroyed, man, because they have no knowledge of themselves. But, you know, why don't they have any knowledge of themselves, man? Well, let's go to Hosea, to Jeremiah, so he's 17, all right? Because this was a curse unto our people because we didn't trust in Yahweh Hashem Shai. Now, this is um, Jeremiah 17 and 4, And thou, even thyself, shalt discontinue from thine heritages that I gave thee, and I will cause thee to serve thine enemies in the land which thou knowest not, for ye have kindled a fire in mine anger, which shall burn forever, all right? Which is a very long period of time. But we've come into that time where the Lord has now given us back that knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, all right? The um, the elect have now got that knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, all right? And they, we're trying to wake up the rest of the hopeful elect, man, right? Which will indeed be done because it's prophecy, man, all right? So we discontinued from our heritage, man, because we didn't follow the commandments, Low statutes and commandments of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. So that knowledge was taken away from us. And this was the worst captivity, you know, the transatlantic slave trade. And the reason it was the worst, because we lost the name of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. And we lost our very identity, you know, as it tells us in the book of Revelations, man. Right? We actually lost our identity. We're, we were literally walking dead. All right? Because if you don't know who you are, like they say in the world, you don't know where you're going. All right? Now, this is... um. X that one out. Deuteronomy. Nah, this is not the one I wanted. That's all good. Yeah, you know, that was just a quick video I wanted to get into concerning, 
you know, this, um, this, uh, near hope, you know, because, you know, in the video, she lost all hope, man, <laughs> you know, she lost all hope, you know, she was thinking that she was a European, and, you know, she got bugged out by that information, and even when you go to the, um, comment board, people were offended, because they were basically saying to her, you know, why are you offended that you found out that you're European, you know, that, you know, it, you, you know, you're making it look like that's a bad thing, well, it is a bad thing, you know, to find out you're an, you're an Edomite, you know, is not a good thing because pursuing to the book of Obadiah, you know, you Edomites are going to get destroyed forever. So if you was to find out you were an Edomite, that's a very terrible thing, man. You know, that's a terrible thing to find out, man. You know? <laughs> all right, I'll cut it off there, man. You know, this is a quick video. And I give all praise to y'all about Shimi Shai, by Shem Rakaq, with that, should have won.